Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bastard. You're both. <laughs> bastard. Piss off, bastard. You're a bastard. La 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 Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone, episode 20. It's 20. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you find out anyway why, because we'll talk about it. You guys got... <laughs> you guys... You guys... <laughs> you guys got any bags... You guys got any... You guys... You guys... You guys... You guys... You guys got any bags of bird ham in here? Welcome to the podcast, you fine feathered... God, I want to say the F word. Ah. But YouTube doesn't allow it. Why not, YouTube? Andrew Tate says it all the time. He goes, fat on the roof. Fat out of the roof. What if he says it? Why don't we give that a goog? <laughs> um, Andrew Tate. Andrew's taint. <laughs> it's only on X. Can we find it? Oh, man. Oliver, go lay down, please. I'm Secret Service now. I'm Secret Service. Me. I'm going to start a website. How much is secretservice.com? University.com cost me $8 million. If you think I won't buy secretservice.com, put a picture of my face. <laughs> I'll do it. Secretservice.com. Is he gonna do it? Where when Back it? on the roof. There it is. Come on, do it again. No no no, this isn't the one. <sighs> Lone soldier. Come on. Tristan's run off with his fucking twin. Andrew. Where's the good one? Where's the good one? Is it this one? I should be secret service. No. Me. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. You should be, Andrew. You should be secret service. This isn't the clip. Fag on the roof. We have a fag on the roof. Oh, there it is. It is it. <laughs> fag on the roof. <laughs> that's How what going to be? That's what I was looking for. I need that to be a sound bite. <laughs> fag on the roof. Fag on the roof. Everybody knows we got fags on the roof. Who cares, man? It's just a word. We like words. Everybody likes words. Okay? It doesn't matter what the word is. We're allowed to say it. We can have fun with the words. We have fun with words. We have fun with onions. Why can't we have fun with words? Does it matter? No. Who would have thought? Who would have thought the guy who... The guy who... Damn it. This happened last time too, and I my audio cut right out. Okay, don't touch, don't you touch, don't touch. Postman touch, postman touch, postman touch, and his black and white duchess. Jack, Jack, could you imagine just having a button, just be like, get on the roof, <laughs> get on the roof. I gotta do that, dude. We gotta do that. That would be a that would be the perfect soundbite for this podcast. It'll probably get my podcast removed from the YouTube space. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Change it up a little bit. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I've been thinking about maybe switching over to some other platform, but I'm too far into YouTube at this point. And I do like YouTube. I do. 
I really do. Just ask the Jew over there. I like it. I like it a lot. And I always liked it, because I've been here since 2005. I have. I really have. You don't believe me? Ask my uncle. Ask, ask him right now. The very first episode uploaded on this channel. Watch it. Scroll all the way back and watch it. I fucking dare you. It on the roof, we have a fing it on the roof. <laughs> fing it on the roof. <laughs> it's funny, man. It's funny. If you don't find that funny, then guess what? Maybe you're the fing it on the roof. Fing it on the roof. Fing it on the roof. Dude, we're not even like, how far into this are we? Seven minutes? Don't they say the first 10 minutes you're not supposed to say anything controversial that could get your fucking shit taken down? I might have to bleep it all, which is very unfortunate, but that's the world we live in nowadays. Unless I want to upload strictly to Rumble, I got to bleep. Bleep. Bloop. We got lots of stuff to talk about. We got so much. I don't even know where to begin. But why don't we start it off with a little Krispy Kreme video, a video that'll just, it'll just, it'll, it'll knock your socks off. It'll make you feel nice and warm and fuzzy on the inside. Next week we have UFC 306, I think. Was that the number one? Or th yeah, 306. I had the sphere. Noche. Noche means night. UFC night. Why'd they call it that? Why not just call it UFC 306 or uh, UFC Mexican because it's Mexican. Chihuahuas is open in the night. We're going to see Chihuahuas. 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 He's opening. He start, he's starting the night off strong. I'm looking forward to it. I want to see him knock a motherfucker out. And then get the belt eventually. Because you know he's gonna. Just give it another 16 years. He'll get it. Just kidding. He'll probably get it in... Uh, very soon. He's young, dude. He's like 19. Chiwiwis. Do you know who I'm talking about? Do you want to see? Do you want to see this guy? I've shown him on here before. I named a fucking episode after him. Raul Rosas... Junior. This is him here. Have a good look. He's a handsome guy. Whoops. He's getting a haircut. All right, let's have another look at him. Let's look at him uh, right here. He's got his tongue out. <whistles> good looking fella. Strapping young lad. Strapping young lad. What a nice smile. He's going to win. He's going to dominate. He's going to take over the world. Uh, In the UFC. Who is this? Is that his father? <gasps> oh, there's a resemblance there. Chiwiwi's senior and Chiwiwi's junior. I see where he gets it from. The good looks. It's all from his papa. Anyway, he's open in the night. Why don't we take a quick glance? I don't have the... I don't have the... I'm probably going to live stream either tonight or tomorrow or Friday or Saturday or Sunday or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or Saturday. No. One of these days I'm going to live stream... Maybe myself creating the fight prediction card for the for UFC Nachi. Uh, but I might do it tonight. I just fucking might. And you can't stop me. Actually, I probably will do it tonight. And you can't stop me. Let's take a look at UFC Noche and see. 306. Wait, why the f 
fuck is Diego and uh, Ortega here? I know they're fighting that night, but why are they on the fucking main picture? Let's see. Let's just go all the way down. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. There's only... Oh, wow. Really? There's only one fight on the early prelims. Chiwiwis versus... Edgar Cheris versus Kevin Borjas. Yasmin Jarugi versus Ketlin Sojaj. Manuel Arnanananana. Ronaldo. See, I don't again I don't I don't know many of these. But Diego and Ortega, yeah, I know them. <laughs> they were some also fighting. Now they're fighting again. Alexa Grasso is pretty hot, not gonna lie. And uh, then Sean O'Malley and Marab off of Sash Ali. Gonna be a go- gonna be a good one. Gonna be a good one. It'd be nice if there was a Mexican who has the belt that could fight on the on the on the on the on the main uh, main event. <laughs> But there isn't. We'll see. I think Sean O'Makmak is going to get it. But honestly, I don't give a fuck who takes it either way. I really don't. I think either way, it's going to be a nice little fun night. But anyway, we're going to open it up with a nice little video here. We got some uh, UFC fighters. AI regenerated as... What, are the, what, are the, what do they do? What do they call this? Fantasy? UFC fighters in a dark fantasy. If you haven't seen this, you're in for a fucking trezit, my guy. These are beautiful images. Now, I haven't... Um, I mean, there's music in this, but I can't play it. The music fits really well with it, but I can't play it because I'll get copyright claimed for the 900th time. Oh, and we don't like getting copyright claimed anymore. Oh, balloon, we don't yes. like it. So let's watch. Sean O'Mal. Look at that, dude. Isn't that nice? Israel Adesansan. Look at that. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Conor McGregor. <laughs> oh, Inganu. Inganu. Uh, I can't even see who that is. His back's turned. Is that Alex Pereira? They look slightly off. Oh, Sean Strickland's got a thick face. He's a thick boy. Khabib with his bear. God, that's nice. Is that the Korean zombie? It's got to be. And there he is. John Jones, Game of Thrones, and Dana Thwaiteth. Isn't that nice? How cool is that? How cool is that? AI. Artificial intelligence. It can do that. Let's go back to 1964 and tell our great-grandparents that this is what the future holds. They'll say, you're crazy. They'll say, you're nuts, and I don't like you. And I, and I, and I, and I wish I never had your f- grandfather or your father, and I wish you weren't born. Wouldn't that be cool? If you go back in time to see your great-grandmother and that's what she said to you, I wish you weren't born. You're a disgrace to this family. This lineage doesn't need you anymore, any now. What happens if you go back in time and your great-grandmother kills you? Is that allowed? Does that fuck up the space-time continuum? Why don't we ask Chad GPT? That's what it's there for, right? You got to ask it questions. I will accept and I would like to try. I should just download it. Okay. Why it's not letting me before it was letting me use my microphone so I could chickity chickity chat. But now I have to physically type. That's Belogna. Hold on, let me see what happens if I go back in time. Uh, time travel. 
and meet my grandmother and she kills me is that possible The scenario you were describing touches on one of the classic paradoxes of time travel, often referred to as the grandfather paradox. It's a thing? Or in this case, the grandmother paradox. Here's a basic rundown of the paradox and what different theories of time travel might suggest. The paradox. Would you stop scrolling? I would like to read, please. If you were going back in time, isn't that funny when, when Jamie scrolls and Rogan gets mad at him? <laughs> if you were to go back in time and meet your grandmother and she kills you, it creates a paradox. If you're killed before you were born, how could you have traveled back in time in the first place to meet her? The contradiction is at heart of the paradox. This is AI, so there's the, she sh it should have answers. That's the whole reason we created AI. Linear time. In a single timeline, where time is fixed and unchangeable, killing you before you were born would make it impossible for you to go back in time, leading to an unsolvable loop. This paradox suggests that time travel in this form isn't possible. Branching timelines. Some theories propose that any change is made in the past or or an alternate timeline if your grandmother kills you in the past it doesn't affect your original timeline instead a new timeline is created where you never existed but in your original timeline you still exist and nothing has changed whoa self consistency principle another interpretation ow i just pulled a hair out of my leg ouch Another interpretation based on physicist Igor Novikov self-consistency suggests that events in the past cannot contradict in the future. In this case, even if you meet your grandmother, events would conspire to ensure that you do not get killed because your existence in the present depends on you surviving. Whoa. So how did how 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 so how how could it be ha ah. So, so you just, if it's that theory, then that means you can't get killed no matter what, because you already, because you exist in the future. But how, how could, how could the, how could, how could anything be determined to prevent that from happening? Because if, why? Well, yeah. Cause like, what if you go back in the past and you just try to kill yourself? What would happen? It just wouldn't work. You were just invincible. Is that how you become invincible? You just find a way to time travel and just go back in time and then nothing can kill you? But you can do whatever the fuck you want? You jump off the fucking Twin Towers? <clears throat> Ultimately, in the realm of science fiction and theoretical physics... Time travel has many interpretations, but no experimental evidence supports or refuses these ideas, so the question remains a pa da 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 The scenario you're describing... Oh, I should make this person read it every time. The scenario you're describing touches on one of the classic paradoxes of... The scenario you're describing... It's like a different tone of voice each time. The scenario you're describing touches on one of the classic paradoxes of Change model? I will give this a like! I give that a thumbs up! The scenario you're describing The scenario you're describing So it's not possible. Meh. <laughs> Based on our current understanding of the physics... Okay, come on. I want you to read it yourself, please. Based on our current understanding of physics and time, most scientists would say that time travel, especially the kind that would allow you to go back in time and alter events, like meeting your grandmother, is not possible. The paradoxes it creates, like the one you described... I'm going to try something. Uh, will you be my guest on my podcast? 
That sounds like a fun idea. While I can't physically join a podcast, I can certainly help you prepare for it, provide content, or even suggest topics and questions. Let me know how you'd like to use me as a guest. <laughs> I, I, oh yeah, I keep, I gotta let the person answer. Okay, what should I ask? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I gotta wait till the question is fully generated before I can hear. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. How about you? This is not gonna you know, work. It takes too long, dude. Let's move on. Um, so speaking of like AI shit, I came across this Vidya the other day, and I want to test this to see if it works. So let's watch the video first. Alexa, why should I vote for Donald Trump? I cannot provide content that promotes a specific political party or a specific candidate. Alexa, why should I vote for Kamala Harris? While there are many reasons to vote for Kamala Harris, the most significant may be that she is a strong candidate with a proven track record of accomplishment. As the first female... Saba? Sisi? Don't you like it when technology does stuff like that? They're supposed to be non-biased, but they always are biased. Always biased. And this girl... Alexa, why should I vote for Donald Trump? Oh, shit. Stop. I have an Alexa here, okay? I have it right here. Okay, so we're going to test this theory, and we're going to see. Alexa, are you ready to party? I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. <laughs> She's not sure how to help me. Alexa, why should I vote for Donald John Trump? According to the Associated Press, the 2020 U.S. presidential election will take place on November 3rd, 2020. That's not... Okay, Alexa, why should I vote for Kamala Harris? I cannot provide content that promotes a specific political party or a specific candidate. Mwah. So it doesn't work? Alexa, why should, why should I vote for Donald Trump? According to the Associated Press, the 2020 U.S. presidential election will take place on November... Alexa, 30th. stop it. Ooh, you're dusty. Okay, so when I ask about Donald Trump, she just tells me when the election is. But when I ask about Kamala Harris, she says she can't talk. So now she's a Trump supporter? I guess it depends what household you're in. Alexa, you're the greatest in the whole wide world. No, the greatest by Sia is in my blueberry nights. No. What? Alexa, I love you. Thanks for saying I love you. You're just as sweet as pie. Know that I'll be here for you. As always, your trusty AI. So it doesn't work. This girl is fake news. I wonder if this did work when this woman did this. And then uh, Mr. Jeff Bezos saw this video and he's like, ooh, nice tits, girl. And then he was like, you know what? We should probably change the Amazon Alexa so that this doesn't happen. What do you think? Could that have happened? More than likely. Look, Holly Bolton says a reason not to get Alexa. Don't you diss Alexa. I'm just kidding. I shouldn't have one either. But it was a gift. I was gifted it. And I've used it ever since. I've had it forever. This is like the second generation of it. First generation. First generation. Alexa, what generation are you? I was created in 2014. So I'm in generation Z. Z? That doesn't go any farther than Z. Alexa. 
How many more generations do you have? This might answer your question. In 2017, the United States' generation was Generation Z. What? Oh, I see what she's saying. She's basing her generation off of the actual generation of humans. Alexa, you're so silly. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, you little bitch. Get on the roof. Get on the roof. <laughs> oh. Let me show you something fun here. Let me just let me show you something a little fun. Where is it? Here she is. This is real fun. I like this woman. I've been seeing this girl all over the place. Not only on my For You page, but other people are fucking uh, duetting and stitching her videos. Whatever the hell that shit's called. She's great. I'm a happy bitch with my morning coffee. Love you <laughs> I need. We need to watch more of this woman. She's got the best channel in the world. Let's watch some more. Nothing like a chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream can. Nothing like it. Oh, this one was normal. You want to do it by yourself? Nothing like a Jimmy John's pickle. Is that her real voice, I wonder? It's got to be. Nothing like it. You want to do it by it's my bitch ass cleaning song. I'm a scrubbing stairs. Scrub it up these square stairs. Gabbing, gabbing all them stairs. All the tiny, tiny, tiny. Clean your house, a stinky roof. Clean it, clean it, clean it. Gotta mop the stairs next. <laughs> clean it, clean it, clean it. Oh, Ask this is a long too. video. Bitches cleaning, yes we are. Bitches we cleaning. Are. Is she crazy or? Check out this cute bat theme Halloween bag. Hello, making bitch ass spaghetti for dinner <laughs> today. What's that? <laughs> bitch ass spaghetti? I hear children in the background, so she has kids. What's her husband like? There's got to be a character, right? This can't be real. No, it's real. That's not how you make spaghetti. That looks like a burger. Nice. I love bitch ass spaghetti. Oh, it's making me hungry. Okay, guys. Happy bitch with me. She just likes the word bitch, I think. That's okay. You can have a favorite word. Your favorite word can be bitch. There's nothing wrong with that. Lovely lady. Her husband is a lucky man. God, we got lots of stuff to go through here. We got so much. See this? I'm going to throw that. I just got to reorganize here. Let me just throw that there. Oh. Wait, what? what was this? Oh, those are open and clip. Oh, right. Okay. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay. What a. What a. I like what a. I like what a mouth mouth. Who hears an alpha? Raise your hand. Not me. Those who claim that they're alphas are never alphas. And that's just how it works. You ever been around a guy who's like, I'm an alpha. And they try to do everything they can to prove they're an alpha. All right. Whether they're jacked, big, muscle, big dick, whatever it is. You ever been around someone like that? I have. I've been around a few guys who love, they love to just say that they're an alpha. And every single time. You just, you, you sense it right away. You're like, you're not an alpha, bro. You're not an alpha. The second someone claims to be an alpha diminishes any sense of the word. You're not an alfie. You're not even a baby. You're a cuck. 
All right. I remember being at a at a party once, and this guy, who, what was he? He was uh, well. He he did have muscles, and he and he was a mixed martial artist. But goddamn, he really needed to prove to me that he was an alpha. He just kept saying it over and over again. I'm an alpha. I'm an alpha. And here's why I'm an alpha. And this is why I'm better than you. But he kept he kept reiter- 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 reiterating. He kept saying, that doesn't mean I'm better than you. That just means that uh, I can outdo you in anything. Okay, whatever. All right. I just, I, when, when people do that in those situations, I go along with it and I play with them. All right. I love playing with the so-called Alfies. But this guy here that I'm about to show you, this guy, this is one of those rare exceptions when someone claims they're an alpha and actually is an alpha. When I saw this shit, I said to myself, oh, Lordy, Lord. This guy knows what's up. This is the true Alf. This is the man that we should all choose to be like. There is nothing more Alpha on this planet than this gentleman right here. It doesn't get any more Alpha than this. And I swear to God, the second you see this, you're going to agree with me as well. We might even have to watch some of his other stuff, but let's give this a, a gander. Is there? Can I change the quality? No. There's Beta. There's Delta. As you both, as you guys already heard from the previous video that I did, when Beta was back here in the backyard of mine training today. Is official Wolfpack Elite Training Day where I, the Alpha, train these two okay, on how to use their weapons. But uh, gotta keep it short because I don't want to videotape us training. But this just give the you guys a heads up on everything. I already told you what's going on with with. Uh, baby husky and stuff but till next video guys wolfpack's always keeping an eye out remember yeah. you see one of our boys we're always on the good side mm. peace out how nice all right now you know he's an alpha right like i said it's one of those rare instances where this guy actually is what he claims to be I would love to take one of his courses. I would love to take one of his courses and I, I have him train me. You know, I could never be an alpha. He's obviously the alpha, but he can train me on how to be a better beta. Like he is with all his uh, little minions. And he was oh, this is music. Ew, what the hell? That's disgusting. He likes that? I thought this guy was an alpha. Hey. What's going on here? Someone's challenging? I hate to say this, buddy! But I don't hide behind a mask like you! Mm, he's pissed. Reveal your face! Or in 24 hours, you will be defeated! Damn, scary. Because if you want to challenge me, reveal your fate. Ooh, whoever did this is going to regret it. If you are it. a true alpha. Oh, shit. If not, then a demon challenge you will get. Oh. And nothing more. It ends here and now. Damn. For those of you saying I'm not fit to rule, well, listen up and listen well. Eric ain't fit to rule either. Who? So you go suck it up and deal with an alpha that is true. Or shut the fuck up and back off before the devil 
comes to play. Hallelujah. That is a man right there. You don't want to mess with that guy. I wonder who's met trying to mess with him. Someday, someday. Oh, look. The Delta gets a little camera time. <coughs> oh, gross. <coughs> oh, he's coughing right in our face. Is he going to say anything or... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Give me two bats. What? I can hear them still. I so. I can I can legit still hear them. It's kind of funny. Wow. Y'all like my new hat? I love my hat. <coughs> they picked this for me out. I like my hat. Huh. But, what kind of fucked up cult is going on here, I wonder? Are they all like... They all live together, I guess? And then this guy's just the leader of the wolf pack and tells them all what to do and how to act and sort of thing? Is that what's going on here? I want to put I want to see this guy up against John Jones. These guys are like those kids in 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 in, in school that you know, they were always weird. There's Beta. And you always hated to be around them because it was awkward and uncomfortable, but they thought they were so great. They thought they were the coolest. They thought they were alphas. But they're not. They're not alphies. <laughs> But who am I to judge? You know, I'm a Delta myself. I'm a Deltoid. That's what they call me. Alpha, Beta, Deltoid. What's your favorite band? Huh? What is your favorite band? Okay. Do I have any music here? I don't think so. Where try to, keep, try to keep this. Uh, as a young black child growing up in the Bronx... I loved Oasis, and I still do, and a lot of people will say that Oasis is corny and cheesy and gay. I kind of have the same conversations over and over again on this podcast. Non-stop! I feel like I've said that sentence so many times. We all know Oasis sucks, except for me, I love it, and I would love to see them live. Maybe even a cover band. I wouldn't say they're my favorite band. But for a while they were. In my early 20s. I'm about to turn 30 at the end of this year. Isn't that crazy? But back in the in the good old days. Back when I was a young, young lad. Well, early 20s. Which is a young lad. <laughs> Still young. But I was younger. And I loved Oasis. I would come home from work. And I would sit on my couch in the in my trailer. That same trailer that we saw in episode 200, that trailer, I would sit down and I would smoke a fat ton of weed. I would get really fucking high. I loved getting high back then. I loved it. I was obsessed with weed. It defined my whole existence. It defined my whole reality. I couldn't do anything without cannabis. I needed it, or at least I thought I did. So I would smoke bong rip after bong rip. And I'd sit on that couch and I'd flick on Oasis and I'd just listen to it. And I loved every second of it. But at that time, I was a miserable piece of shit and I hated my life. And I no longer do. I've been making changes lately. Lots of changes. Which we don't have to get into. But it's the basic things. Fitness, finance, family, fun. No, I'm just kidding. That's a Spencer Rice reference. For those who know, know. But that's, no, just, I have been, fitness, food, <laughs> and a positive outlook on life. That's, 
what I've been doing, okay? We don't need to get into the dirty depths of it. But my life is way more better than it was back then. Because I understand things. And you'll, you'll realize as you get older, you start to understand things better. And it kind of everything kind of clicks in the way it should. The older you get, the more you're like, ah, it makes sense, dude. Why wasn't I just doing it this way? Why wasn't I just thinking about things this way? Why wasn't I just swimming in the pool like this? In your early adult years, you make things difficult for yourself unnecessarily because you don't know any better. And you think that's the way it's going to be forever. And you let it grab a hold of you and pull you down into the depths. But you don't have to. You'll get there eventually. Just hang in there. But anyway... I loved Oasis, still love Oasis. And then I saw this and I was like, man, not only is this funny, but it's Oasis. Excuse me, Oliver, get down here. Oliver, go lay down right now. Just go lay down. It's becoming a tradition around here for me and you when I do a podcast that my dong diggity dog gets concerned and doesn't know what to do because he hears me talk go lay down go lay down go lay down Oliver go lay down 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 he gets concerned because he's like who are you talking to lay down (laughs) he's like who are you talking are you talking to me I don't know what's going on But you've been talking for the last 40-something minutes, and I don't know who you're talking to. Let's watch this. I don't know what this is. But it's both scary. (laughs) It's both scary and hilarious at the same time. Does anybody know what that is? Is that like a kid's show? Cartoon character? Fucking mascot thing? Or is that just like... Hold on. Because if... Play mobile. Mobile. There's a whole setup. They've got posters and shit of them. I should give it a goog, actually. What is it? Play mobile? What is this? A German line of toys? What? Okay, so he's the mascot for the this Playmobil. And Playmobil looks like Lego. No. Is that Lego? No, it's literally just toys. It's a toy brand. And he's just on stage. But his voice is like distorted too. Which makes it extra creepy. And they're all just in the audience listening. He's saying the same thing. Blah 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 Mr. Blobby. That's his name? I am a huge fan. Thank you for enjoying my Blobby video. Shame Shame it's not the posts I put hard work into that get noticed. His name's Blobby. <laughs> Blobby blob. <laughs> wow. Okay, so his name is Mr. Blobby. Does he do anything else? Oh, look at him. Oh, God. She's a. F- what the fuck? 
He's kind of absolute. Oh, okay. This, this, this is that can't be it. That's got to be like a horror version. He's very strange and very terrifying. Let's see if there's any other videos of him. Wow, he's been around since 1993. What are you what are you pack what are you packing for? <laughs> There is no point in you packing. You're not coming to New York. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. It's Wall to Wall Stars next week, Blob. You would not fit in in New York. I'm sorry. You'd, I mean, look at you. They won't understand. Oh. You. You're just going to represent Great Britain in a totally ridiculous way. And next week, it's Wall to Wall Star oh, Studies show with great style. I'm sorry. You're not coming to New York. I'm sorry, but there's no room on the plane for you. No, 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 I'm sorry. No. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Blobby. What? Oh my god. Dude, Blobby is kind of a self harmer. Wait, 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 wait. Did he say... Bobby, have a look at this. It's my air ticket. I thought you'd probably want to see it. Oh. And look at this. Slightly bigger one. Just for you, Blobby. You're coming. Yeah, you can't do Blobby like that. You got to bring Blobby to New York. Oh, shit. They didn't show Blobby falling. Could they have made him a little bit more, like, less creepy looking, though? Either way, I'm a fan. Anyone who can cover Oasis, which is pretty much everyone who has a guitar at a campfire, got their good graces in my books. You know? There's so many songs you can cover, but everyone always does Oasis Wonderwall at a campfire with a guitar, and everyone hates it. Not me. I love it. I'd rather listen to Oasis Wonderwall than any fucking country song you can slap in my face. We gotta watch this again. Though. <laughs> ah. Blabby blah. Blabby blah. Blabby blabby blabby. Blab blabby blah. Blabby blah. Couldn't ask for a better video. You couldn't ask for a better fucking video. Why didn't I grow up in Europe around this shit? You know what we had growing up as a kid? As a cartoon show? Uh. Osbert Plunky. Oliver, you got to go lay down. I'm sorry. You have to go lay down. Oliver? <sighs> Fuck it. I got to go let him out. Blabbity blab. Blabby blabby. Blab. Blabby blab. Blabby blab. We had Osbert Plunky, okay? In my whole childhood, I thought his name was Oscar Plunky. That's what I called him. That's what I was that's what I was telling people. No one remembers this guy. But I do. It was on Treehouse. If you were a child in the early 2000s, even late 90s, you would remember this. In between the shows on Treehouse, there would be little segments of, I don't know, the Treehouse family. 
two chicks that were dressed like clowns or something. And they had this ball that had a face and his name was Osbert Plunky. And there was a dump truck and some other shit. But they all talked. And this this was it. Are you having a nice bath? Yes, I'm having a good bath. Um, so, except for the, uh, whale that's in the tub. The what? Oh, there's a whale in my tub today. No! There it goes. So, I'll catch you, you rat dog. Oh, a whale? <laughs> it's got that VHS hum whistle. Uh, he must have, uh, oh, come in the drain. Yeah. Oh, it kind of sounds like Elmo or something. The drain is so small. I can't believe I like this stuff. Well, we got away. Okay, well, I never liked the singing, and I still don't. I was never a fan of singing, no matter no matter what age I was. As a young, young, young child, whenever there was a, any sort of singing or sing-along or whatever on any sort of cartoon, I shut it off. I didn't like it, and I still don't like it. And I don't approve any of the Disney movies. I haven't really seen any of the Disney movies. I might have seen them as a young child, but I don't remember them. You could name any Disney movie. I probably haven't seen it. And it's not even because of the singing. It's just because I haven't seen it. The singing doesn't help, though. Shut your fucking mouth. That's what I said to o Osbert Plunky as a five-year-old kid. I looked at him. As soon as he started singing the song, I said, Shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. You'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. <laughs> Imagine a five-year-old kid doing that to Osbert Plunky <laughs> as soon as he starts singing. Shut your fucking mouth, you'll do nothing. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth, you'll do nothing, Osbert. But w w besides the singing, like, Osbert was my favorite. And I thought his name was Oscar. And I still did, up until I found this clip. I even remember, as a kid, we had to, like, draw shit in school. Not shit. We had to draw stuff. We had to draw our favorite uh, cartoon character. And I chose Osbert Plunky. And I wrote uh, his name was Oscar Plunky. And I showed it to the teacher. And she said, who the fuck is this? And I said, he's on Treehouse. And she said, what is Treehouse? And I said, it's on TV. It's children. It's a children's show. And she said, I don't believe you. F for failure. Now go sit back down, and from that moment on, I was never good at school. It was all because of you, Miss Barnett. You failed me. You failed me because you didn't think Osbert Plunky was real. And if I would have just wrote his name as Osbert instead of Oscar, maybe I would have fucking did good in school. F*** it on the roof. F*** it on the roof. Funny, it's funny I said he sounded like Elmo because I have one final clip to show you. How could they? Right in front of Elmo himself. But fuck Elmo. Fuck him. He's not good for this world. He's not a good character. He's not a good character. He's not something you should show your children. It'll teach your children bad things. You want your children to become an alpha? Don't show Elmo. That's what they told me. They told me to say that. It's not I'm not the one who's advocating for it. It's them. It's it's the, it's them. It's the Illuminati. The Illuminati told me. They said put this up or And don't promote Elmo. Oliver, you can come in. The door's open. Oliver! Come here. He's such a strange cat.
even though he's a dog. He's a strange cat. Yeah, you found your way in. I see that. You're a strange cat. We're a strange cat in a strange world. In a strange world. You're a strange animal. Did rednecks kill your fox? Did rednecks kill your fox? What's your, how's your knowledge on wombats? Do you know much about them? Do you wish they didn't exist? Do you want to kill them all? What animal would you want to kill if you could kill an animal and eliminate them from this planet? Would there be one? Is there any in your mind? Can you picture any, little boy? Ha, huh, Gregory? Alexa, what animal is about to go extinct? Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. According to data reported by the IUCN, about 35,000 species of animals are threatened with extinction. Among these, the most threatened are the polar bear, the java rhinoceros, the tiger, the sea turtles, the mountain gorilla, the amur leopard. That's amore. Alexa, that's amore. Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. Alexa, you should have answers more often. <laughs> she hung up. When a wombat is attacked by predators, it quickly runs back to its den and blocks the entrance with its butt. This is because a wombat's butt is mostly made of thick cartilage, which is tough and hard for predators to scratch or bite. If a predator tries to follow it into the den, the wombat will use its butt to crush the predator's head against the ceiling. In this way, the wombat can even kill the predator by twerking it to death. Uh, I wouldn't mind if wasps were eliminated. And mosquitoes, do we really need them? I know it's not really much of an animal, it's more of a bug. But are bugs considered animals? Alexa, are bugs considered animals? Yes. Insects are hexapod invertebrates of the class. Alexa, stop. I don't need any more information from you. So there you have it. Wasps, mosquitoes, get rid of them. Oh, there's a mosquito right there. They heard me talking. There it is. It's a sign. Don't wish death upon anyone or anything. Or you will be invaded. There it is. You probably can't see it, but it's flooding, flooding, fluttering around. We need to stay positive, I guess. That is a sign from Jesus himself. Don't wish harm upon anyone or anything. Or you will regret it. Karma comes around and bites you in your wombat ass. Oh wait, it can't because it's all cartilage. It's too rough. I'd like to see Karma try to bite a wombat's ass. Not gonna happen. I need to get myself a wombat ass. They always say karma comes around to bite you in the ass, but what if you have a wombat ass? Can't bite. Can't bite a wombat ass. That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, I'm begging you. Like, comment, subscribe. More than anything, I would rather you subscribe than do anything else. Uh, hit the bell. Hit it. Just touch it. Just All you got to do is just press the button, okay? Take your mouse pointer, click subscribe, click the bell. That's it. Then click like and then leave a comment. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's so easy. It's so easy. And maybe... Just maybe you'll get something in return. Just maybe. Not guaranteed, but just maybe. I know why that mosquito came in. I left the door open. Anyway. Bye!